everyone. Tonight we are here at the great Jack-O-Lantern Blaze in Bethpage, Long Island. Mm -hmm. We are excited to come here. We actually came and did something similar to this a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and that was Rise of the Jack-O-Lanterns. But we always wanted to do this. It's usually out in Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. And they brought it out here to Long Island, so we figured we would come and check it out. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard to get tickets. Right now it's 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. It's the only time slot left. And we're really excited to see everything. Yeah, we're gonna see some really cool pumpkins tonight. So let's go in and check it out. A face mask is required at all times. And they ask that you maintain 10 feet of physical distancing. And when you first walk in, they have these pumpkins here. I think these are on a screen though. I don't think these are actually real pumpkins, but they are welcoming you in all different languages. Look, and you see they'll change. There you go. Check it out, one of the first pumpkin displays that we see is for Jaws. How cool is that? And this section here is for Pong, which was the first video game. And they have some more ones down here too that are also like video game based. I like the Pac-Man one down there. Yeah, Pac-Man really right cool. over there, yeah. Really, really cool. Off to a good start so far. And the Great Pumpkin Blaze recommends 10 feet of physical distance between you and other parties. And they actually have these orange markers along the trail that give you a reminder to keep your distance. And check out all of these pumpkins here. These ones actually light up, as you guys can see. They light up and they change and there's a whole bunch of them in all these different poses. How cool is this? Check out, they're calling this the star tunnel here. All these pumpkins up top have stars carved in them. And so do all the pumpkins over here on the side. This is definitely a good Instagram spot if you guys are coming to the Great Pumpkin Blaze. All right, so, so far this is probably the coolest one that we saw. This it's, is really cool. Yeah, but it's also scary because I hate spiders. But, <laughs> It's definitely probably the coolest one we saw so far. It's yeah, check it out. They have awesome. all the spiders on the floor, all different types. And then it concludes with a big net up there. That's really cool. That's Alex's worst nightmare if she got trapped dead center of that spider web. <laughs> the next one that we're coming up to is the Whooshing Windmill. And check this out. This is an actual windmill made out of pumpkins. How crazy is this? And what's neat about the ones that we've seen so far is that they actually tie in Long Island into the pumpkin display. So this talks about how windmills have been around for hundreds of years and that they're still found on many village greens on Long Island. So it kind of has a little bit of Long Island history in a sense. This is the haunted Hewlett house, and apparently the Hewlett's were a prominent farming family who remained loyal to the crowns during the American Revolution. And this is supposed to be their farm. You can see this one kind of has a little bit of a spooky element to it, with the smoke coming out and all the different lights. And there's their barn. And if you look up, there's all owl carved pumpkins in the tree. Yeah. That's so cool, I almost missed that. I know, we walked by the tree and then I looked up and I saw all the different pumpkins up there too. That's pretty neat. I think so far, we've only been to one or two sections, but this has been my favorite section so far. And right across from that tree that we just showed you, they have a cemetery kind of set up. Check out all the tombstones here and all the spooky skeleton hands popping out of the graves. And then back in the distance, you can see those are actually like corn stalks made out of pumpkins. No, sunflowers. Oh, I'm sorry, sunflowers. Alex corrected me. <laughs> They're sunflowers. They kind of look like corn stalks, don't they? Yeah, but then the tops are sunflowers. <laughs> <laughs> but this is really cool too. Very, very well done. So we're actually on the back side of that spooky house that we were showing you before. It's right over here. 
And I don't know if he's just a worker or he's somebody that's trying to scare us a little bit extra. But I've seen a person kind of walking around here and popping out to kind of scare people a little bit, which I wasn't expecting here. So not sure if he's a worker or he's just really into his job, but a little extra spookiness was added. Next up, we're at the Doomsday Clock, and it says that in the 19th century, pendulum clocks were the world's most accurate timekeeping technology. And this particular long case clock is 12 feet tall, and it doesn't only tell the present time, which you can see over here, it says it has a single hand which is ominously counting down. Spooky. Now we're coming up on this creepy house with all of these cat pumpkins all over the front porch. And just in case you are not a cat person, across the lawn is all different types of dog carvings. These are really impressive. Look at the little pug. There's so much detail, I don't know how they do it. Yeah, check it out. Like, look at the German Shepherd back there. Like, how does anybody carve a pumpkin that looks like this? This is incredible. Ooh, check it out. It says, caution, headless horseman crossing. And there it is, the headless horseman. Right over there, next to that spooky house. And look at this trail. And we actually were standing here just a minute ago, and you actually, they played the, the hoofs coming up the, it up the like road. It sounded him. like he was running towards us. Yeah. Now, this isn't a jack-o'-lantern display, but they do have a sign here about the Amityville Horror and they do have a replica of the house from Amityville Horror. And in case you guys didn't know, Amityville is on Long Island. So that story takes place on Long Island. They have a whole section here dedicated to police, firemen, all first responders thanking them for their service and then just on the other side of the sign here you guys can see a fire truck and probably hear a little bit of it too and then there's some firemen saving a cat in a tree and of course they also have the statue of liberty lady liberty it just still blows my mind that people carve these into I pumpkins. I can't imagine how long it must take them to do all of these. I know. I kind of wish that like we can talk to one of the pumpkin artists and see how long this takes because this is crazy. They have a section that is called the Museum of Pumpkin Art with Frida Kahlo, Salvatore Dali, Leonardo da Vinci, Andy Warhol. Let's take a walk and see what kind of pumpkins we can see. Oh wow. That's incredible. Let me give you guys a close up. You can see just the level of detail that is on these pumpkins. Not just on her herself, but just look at what's in the background behind her. The level of detail is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, here's another one. That's so crazy. <laughs> like my mind is blown. Here's an Andy Warhol one. It says Jack-o'-lantern blaze. Of course, this is after the famous Campbell Soup piece of artwork that Andy Warhol made. Here's the Mona Lisa. That's These so crazy. Just insane these ones are so impressive i just can't believe the level of detail on them yeah amazing and i was saying it's like not even just like the mona lisa herself but like look at all the stuff that's in the background mm -hmm. like that's just so crazy uh, me and alex struggle to build or to carve like a regular jack-o-lantern yeah. <laughs> and these people are carving the mona lisa Check it out, they have all of the different zodiac signs here on display too. That's pretty neat. You gotta get a picture in front of the Libra one. I know, I'll take one of you in front of Leo. All right. Okay. <laughs> this one is so cool, it's huge. Yeah, it really is. There has to be at least like 100 pumpkins that make this one up. <laughs> it's a lot, I don't know if yeah. it's 100, but it's definitely a lot. And uh, I like that he, he blows smoke yeah, too. Yeah, I was gonna say, I like like the little effects. The effects here with the pumpkins are really, really neat. Like you could hear the gurgling as if he's in the water. Yeah, they put like sound effects and all like the little pumpkins on the bottom. Like yeah. to it. It's cool. And with that, it looks like we are walking on the path to head out of the Great Pumpkin Blaze. Really, really cool event. All right, so that is going to do it for our trip to the Great Jack-o'-lantern Blaze. A lot of fun.
very very cool i highly recommend it yeah what, me too think? i thought this one was cooler than the one that we went to a few years ago yeah um the effects like we said on these were really cool there was so much detail it was very impressive but yeah really cool event it runs until november 1st tickets start at 24 dollars but since we're getting closer to halloween now they are a little bit more expensive mm -hmm. we paid about 45 or 46 dollars each to come here so definitely pricey, mm -hmm. but also something that I think is a lot of fun, especially if you're looking for something to do that's Halloween related and you family don't- Family friendly. Right, family friendly. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like scary things, this is something cool to do. Yeah, and keep in mind, you have to reserve a time slot online. Yeah. So um, we only had the 10 o'clock time slot available. Yep. That's why we're here so late, but there are other options depending on what day of the week you come. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it took us about an hour to go through and we were kind of walking <laughs> relatively slowly, of course, shooting video, but um, I would say it would take about an hour, maybe 45 minutes to walk through yeah. um, if you didn't have a camera. But overall, really cool event. Um, if you oh, got another thing that I wanted to mention, the money goes to um, preserving like the museums and educational programs, so the money does go to a good cause. Yeah, and those pumpkin artists definitely deserve to get paid. Mm -hmm. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you guys are new here. And with that, we'll see you guys real soon. Happy Halloween. Oh,